Dubium just had its first closed beta, and oh boy, it was a doozy. The game is like a mix of Among Us, Project Winter, and a splash of Dead by Daylight. You play as one of five members of a crew exploring a ship contaminated with a hostile element. We don't know what it is, just that it's icky. Your goal is to restore power, find the keycards, package up the four cores, and escape. That is, if you aren't the traitor. You see, there's one traitor among you who has an ulterior motive, to get 10 keystones and flee the scene. We'll get back to that in a second. Let's start with the major objectives in this game. First, there's the oxygen room. Inside there, you'll find, well, oxygen. The traitor can sabotage these to slow the frontiers down or camp it to suffocate out the frontiers while sucking on some sweet, sweet oxygen cans. Next, we have the electrical room. This is a very dangerous zone where frontiers must journey out on a spacewalk to fix two solar panels. During your fixing, the traitor can casually walk by, boop a button, and cause an explosion that kills anyone working on a solar panel. The dangerous task is worth it though, since finishing it will speed up all your core packaging and the lights will be restored. Traders can still get one last laugh in here by turning off the lights every once in a while to annoy you. The four upper core rooms, engineering, bio, fuel, and computer labs contain the four cores you'll need to retrieve. First, you'll need to find the four key cards on the bodies of lab managers. You can identify them with the different colored suits. Finish scanning them and out pops a keycard. Take the keycard to the Kirk room and get another keycard which will in turn disable the force field around the core. Simple. After that, you just take the core down to the shipping room, package it up, and ship it off. Bada bing, bada boom. Now packaging each core requires three materials that's honestly way too easy to get. You'll get them just by exploring the ship or harvesting some no-name bodies. Do keep in mind that once you take the fourth core out, you'll only have five minutes left to package everything or everyone goes boom. Once the four cores are done, just pull the lever, get in the pot, and escape. Oh, right, the traitor. As the game goes on, keystones will be harvested. You'll find them on bodies, cores, and side objectives such as the infirmary and storage room vaults and the computer side consoles. The keystones will grant Frontiers bonus points if they escape with them, but even more importantly, you'll need to keep them out of the hands of traitors. The traitor's only objective is to harvest the 10 keystones. It's no easy task as everyone will be hoarding them. Well, time to teach them what happens if they don't share. The trader needs to look for opportunities to murder and loot keystones. If you sneak behind someone, you can kill them without them knowing your identity. This is very important as a sussed out trader is very vulnerable. Be careful though, even if you manage to pull off the perfect stealth kill, they still have a chance of marking someone they sus. Once the trader gets 10 keystones, they can simply plop themselves on an escape pod and get out. At this point, the frontiers have 5 minutes to fight for the only other escape pod left and escape. Every once in a while, all the keystones in everyone's collective inventory will be pinged out, Keystone scan results renewed. giving everyone valuable information. If there's more than 10, not including yours, the trader will likely start murdering or escaping. Now, how do you defend yourself? You can start by hitting the like button and subscribing, so I can bring you more valuable information. But for real though, keeping a weapon on you is always a good idea. You'll find these scattered around the map or from periodic supply drops. Attacking someone out of the blue, however, will brand you as an offender. Offenders will die immediately when killed, unlike everyone else who gets one free revive. Keeping an ear out for movement behind you while doing objectives is also important. If you hear someone, stop and look at them. If they still kill you, then their traitor's identity will be revealed to everyone. Lastly, the buddy system. If you get stealth killed during an objective and someone witnessed it, the traitor will also be exposed. An exposed trader will emit a ping whenever they're close to you, giving you valuable time to prepare yourself. One more thing to note is that even if the trader goes down, it doesn't mean the game is over. Someone can be offered the role halfway through the game and become a second trader, so trust no one. In terms of characters to play, in the beta, there's currently 5 options. Each character brings a different skill to the table which could offer utility, espionage, or combat powers. The Steam page mentions gadget customization as well, but the beta doesn't have access to that quite yet. And that's pretty much it. I had a wonderful time playing the closed beta. Best of luck out there, and remember, don't be sus.